As of 2008, Team Fortress 2 has been a game of dress-up. Now, for your average game, that would be less than optimal, but luckily, TF2 is, if anything, made infinitely better by being a war-themed hat simulator. With every game of dress-up, there are things that look great on you, make you look sharp, dignifying, a devilishly stylish wearer of the finest hats on the market, tips Fedora. And then on the flip side are things that make you look like old bread soaked in cat pee. Of course, that's not necessarily a bad thing, sometimes there's a bit of charm to an obscenely hideous fashion disaster, but unfortunately, most hat tragedies come with little to none of that swanky distinction. Now, in the time I've been playing this game, I've seen some pretty terrible pieces, and let me tell you, there is no shortage of them. So I decided to compile the ones I felt, in my opinion, were the ugliest of the ugly. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ray7, and I present to you the top 10 ugliest hats in Team Fortress 2. Number 10. Starting off this list at number 10 is a hat I have quite literally never seen worn, the plumber's pipe. A piece of metal crap tubes tied to the pyro's head to look like an antler tied to the pyro's head to look like an antler tied to Max's head to look like an antler tied to or quite possibly growing out of a reindeer's head. Honestly, out of all the pyro hats they could have chosen, I have no idea why this one merited a robo reskin. And while normally I don't mind the robot versions of hats as much as other people, this one is a rainbow of terrible. Not only that, but the paintable areas are limited to just the freaking twine wrapped around his gimp mask. The point is, this gray piece of nasty deserves a spot on the ugly list for being somehow less visually appealing than the actual pipes. Number 9 There's no point denying it, the spy's got a lot of cool stuff. The cutthroat concierge, the nano balaclava, the no mercy, th there's plenty of them. But very little is as embarrassing as number 9, the escapist. A shirt so ugly that unless you use it with the hat it came with in the packaging, it clashes with literally everything. It, it's even worth applauding how seriously bad this is. So tell you what, real quick, let's see if we can come up with a decent loadout with it. Ready? Here we go. Nope. No. Negative. Nada. No. No. Yet. Nine. Heck no. There's absolutely no hope for this dumpster fire. No matter what you do, you're going to look like you decided to wear a Walmart barcode for a t-shirt. And while I do agree, turtlenecks are the greatest spy outfit ever. That's why I bought ten. They tend to lose some of their luster when people mistake you for a fucking grade school crosswalk. It's a cute look, but honestly, the burglar outfit barely worked in the first place, and the separation of the two doesn't do either of them any good. Basically, unless you feel like being the Hamburglar after his mandatory 3 to 5 for corporate espionage, then the escapist is so ugly, you can't use it with anything. Like, anything. Number 8. Plopping into the toilet at number 8 is something that needs to stay between the medic's legs, the doctor's sack. Now, the hardest part about this is that it's a good idea. After dealing with players in casual, I get a headache worthy of one of these too, but that doesn't mean you should ever wear one all the time. It's on this list due to how unsightly it is, because there's no escaping the fact that it's a hot water bottle drooped over your head like a fried egg. It serves no other purpose, it doesn't complement anything else, it's just a hot water bottle. This sad little disappointment is ugly in its own pathetic way. Besides, this headbound whoopee cushion is an insult to physicians everywhere. How dare someone suggest a remedy for an ailment that doesn't require expensive medical examinations and prescriptions? You can't even paint it, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that bad considering no amount of unusual effects or coloring could make this any better. You'll notice I kinda rip on the fact that you can't paint things a lot, and it's because it's the one thing you can do to make it better looking. Just think of all the things that could be at least somewhat interesting to look at if they were yellow or green or pink. I mean, it'd cause just as much cancer, but at least it'd be something to look at, right? Number 7 It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a sticky jumping demo man wearing a yarmulke with horn? Wait, what? Yep, this number 7 spot goes to the Valhalla Helm. It wasn't easy to decide on the ugliest hat for Demoman considering all of them are pretty much average, but after careful deliberation, this one takes the cake. It looks like a metal do-rag and is equally as dignifying, and despite being reminiscent of the Vikings, one of the most legendary cultures since the, before the internet, it's pretty moronic looking. I mean, to prove my point, just look at the Steam Workshop picture with the beard it's supposed to come with. 
Even then, it looks just plain goofy. It, it would at least be bearable if not for that little hanging flap at the front that he sees through. Although, at that point, it would just be like all the other Viking helmets with horns the game has. That not being there could have very well made this passable. Instead, it's too small, too unsightly, and looks like something that came out of a kid's costume set. By the way, something else I'd like to mention to all the content creators out there while we're on the topic of Demo Man. He has one eye. For God's sake, we get it. You don't have to cover up the left eye of everything just because he doesn't use it. He's already got an eye patch. It's good. He's got it covered. Pun intended. At first, it was a funny little touch, but now I'm just sick of everything having one eye. And plus, I mean, he seems sensitive enough about the fact he's a Cyclops. I mean, come on, let's not rub it in, guys. So in the end, this one is going home with 7th place, and I apologize that the creator is watching this and sharing my feelings of failure, but you seriously did not do us a favor with this one. Number 6 Let's all take a moment and appreciate the Heavy's character. In the comics, he's this, and in game, he's this. Never has that been more obvious than with number 6, the Hunger Force. Yes, that gorgeous, shit-stained wife-beater you've all admired on Carl's shoulders is now the Heavies, and dear God, is this an eyesore. Wearing this makes the Heavy go from deep and methodical Russian killing machine to a trailer trash meth-making cousin lover from the bad part of New Jersey. Heh. <laughs> and that's not even considering that lowrider fupa going on here. The worst part is, I'm pretty sure that's the most nasty, disease-ridden, unsanitary, sweat-stained tank top I've ever seen. Subway toilets are cleaner and have less urine in them. Top it with a gold chain and you've got king of the TF2 trailer park. Easily the ugliest available item for the heavy, hands down. You deserve to be here without a doubt, Hunger Force. Now go take a shower. Number five. Raise your hand if you want to have what looks like a weak old elephant diaper strapped to your head. Okay, you need help, my friend. And to those normal people who aren't into that sort of kink, I'm giving spot number five to the Wetworks. Now, I can appreciate it's one of those swamp hats. Trust me, I get it. It makes sense. It comprehends. It, it comprendates with me. But after seeing this cursed shit-colored pancake drooped over someone's head like a skater beanie, I can't help but just wretch at the mere mention. I guess the best way to describe it is it's the first actively disgusting hat in TF2. I mean, it looks like a nasty pair of underpants that were at some point white. With every movement, it squelches like a wet fart. Just, ugh. <coughs> it's just plain disgusting to look at, let alone wear. <laughs> the kind of feeling it gives me hurts sometimes. It's like physically discomforting. This is another one of those hats that I really don't see worn too often, and understandably so. And as well as being ugly, it's kind of one of those hats you just gloss over. I mean, still, someone wearing it even once is one time too many. Ugh, I have nightmares about what's constantly dripping on the back of the sniper's neck. Ugh. This hat is, in full essence, moist. There's no denying it. Especially since it looks like Shaq's foreskin mixed with chewy sidewalk gum. It belongs here with the worst of them. Number four. <sighs> Angie, I love you, man, but do us all a favor, shave. Number four belongs to the most unsightly of Angie beards, the grizzled growth. Now, I'm pretty sure the engineer treasures his beards, trims it, feeds it, reads it bedtime stories, you know, what people usually do with the beard. But what, dear God, happened to make the engineer think wearing what looked like the inside of an Ugg boot on his face? This thing only works if you're actively going for the untended yokel buckaroo whack jack cotton eyed Joe on my anus style you just look like you came back from making moonshine while skinny dipping in an above ground pool with your cousin. As long as you have this beard, no Elvis hair, mohawk, cowboy hat, or Yankee Doodle macaroni ripoff can save you from being a backwoods tobacco spitting pickup truck driving my space using three tooth abomination of a gene pool that's nothing but shallow end. Okay, who the fuck wrote this? Number three. Bioshock Infinite? Great game. First American, nastier than gas station egg salad sandwich. Dropping in at number three is the ceramic nightmare itself. 
What sets this apart from the others is the fact that they tried to pass it off as some sort of Halloween mask, like it's strapped to the front of your face with one of those rubber bands that, as any ten-year-old will tell you, are super durable. God forbid it fly off, but in all honesty, hats have kind of been known to defy physics to maintain their righteous perch on their head before. Isn't that right, fruit shoot? Probably the most insulting part about this is them assuming that anyone wants to be Ben Franklin or George Washington. Sure, if Franklin was a lady killer and Washington was pretty handy with an axe, but why be then when you could be, I don't know, Millard Fillmore? Regardless, the magnitude of not giving a damn this hat suffers from is just plain insulting, especially considering it's even a promotional item. These two have more shameless plugging than a 1950s TV set, because if you look at the other items that this came with, they're actually not half bad. Some of them are, dare I say, great. But the coup de grace of these two are the fact that they are sold separately. This could have easily been in an alternative style, but damn it, they wanted to stretch out those sweet, sweet promotional items as far as they could. So enjoy two, which honestly shouldn't have even been one. It probably wouldn't have been so bad if it was more than just this ratty paper mache Halloween mask. At least then it wouldn't look like something that came off of an American elementary school play on presidents. Bottom line is, both the Big Daddy and the First American look like a zoo pal that went through the dryer and are enough of an embarrassment to deserve this spot. Number 2 Like I mentioned with Spy, as far as cosmetics go, the Scout actually has some pretty solid gear, especially within the last few updates. I mean, come on, Scout's cool, he's a cool guy, you get cool stuff when you're a cool guy. You could be a, a jester, a knight, a stuntman, all pretty great looks, and... Well, then along came a spider in the form of number two, the bombing run. I can't tell you how horrible this is to look at for me. Even now as I'm describing it, I can feel my brain cells starting to retch like they just drank a moth in their radioactive soda. I know, it's supposed to be an aviator hat, and I know it represents the attire worn by the pilots of World War I in 1914 who played a pivotal role in the effort by providing life-saving air support for the troops on the ground. But why the hell would you choose this one of all designs? Maybe in another era it was supposed to be kind of silly before TF2 became a game of dress up, but now that we actually have some good looking threads, this just doesn't fit in at all. It's disgusting, an experimental form of beats by the doctor you severely need, like he's grown some cantankerous zits on his ears and went bald, like the scout's head just decided to look like a tip of a penis someday. Ugh, put a sensor bar on that thing. Jesus. In the end, it's the crown most dickheaded scouts out there deserve but don't wear. However, that doesn't change the fact that it's easily one of the ugliest hats out there. But, still not the ugliest. Number... Before I introduce you to number one, I'd like to make some honorable mentions that I personally despise beyond belief, but simply weren't ugly enough. The Void Monk hair looks like Spock fucked Legolas. The employee of the MF is just way too accurate in portraying anyone with a 9 to 5 being on the edge of arson 90% of the time. The Man of Reason makes you look like a crayon. The Jack Hat is the real handicap helmet. The Trash Man is that little blubbery ball sack on the back of Davy Jones' head. Charmer Chapeau, Team Captain, War Pig, Desert Marauder, Battle Bob, those weird antler things, Blighted Beak, Potassium Bonnet, Thirst Blood, Cockfighter, they all look like trash so I don't care for them at all. And now, for the number one ugliest hat in Team Fortress 2... Go to hell, proof of purchase. Of all the hats on this list, this one is by far the most disgustingly insulting. Let's have a little history lesson here, why not? Let, let, let's sit down for a second. Way back in the day, you had to actually buy Team Fortress 2. Before Steam was the gaming powerhouse it was that it is, is today, you could actually buy the game itself as a disc from Walmart and separately or as part of the orange box, whatever. Which I'd like to point out is something that yours truly still has. Which all things considered, I kinda got my $20 worth. But then June 23rd of 2011 rolls around and Team Fortress 2 goes completely free to play. And with them, only charging about $5 to have full premium access for everything I paid $20 for. And I know I sound salty about this, I know I really do. I'm totally over $20, I guarantee you I've spent way more than that on TF2 in general. Ask anybody, hundreds of dollars have been sunk into this game, I promise you. But for us that had the game before it went free to play, are the cool kids, man. What about us cool kids that actually paid for the game? You know what we got? We got the proof of purchase and that's it. This wasn't like some free weekend or anything, TF2 went free forever. 
And yeah, it was probably the thing that made the game as popular as it is, but still, Valve couldn't have thrown us a bit more of a bone? Well, what makes us ad number one is the fact that this nasty green helmet with no aesthetic value whatsoever is what us hipsters got for buying the actual game. The proof of purchase isn't even thematically relevant to what it stands for. You could pretty much just slap that name on any hat and it would still be no different. It's like they just had a spare salad bowl lying around, flipped it around and made people wear it. That's all there is to it. The point of having a hat not a lot of people have is to be able to show it off with pride and just make everyone else jealous. And it's so plain and boring, I can't even wear it because, ironically, it makes me look like a free-to-play. Why couldn't it have been something cooler, like the Cheater's Lament, or have a slight unusual effect like the World Traveler, hell, at least make it paintable? It would kind of work as one of those ridiculous poor taste hats if it was lime green or pink, ugh. But sadly, no, it doesn't even have that kind of dignity. For how it looks, what it stands for, and the sheer degree to which it irritates me, the proof of purchase is easily the ugliest hat in Team Fortress 2. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this list. I apologize if I got slightly compassionate and uh, energetic about it. If you think I ever missed any, or much more likely you hate me for putting your favorite hat on this list, write up a strongly worded complaint letter in the comments section and uh, address it to me. I will, I will take it later. My name is Array7, and this has been the top 10 ugliest TF2 hats ever. I hope you all have a wonderfully hideous rest of your day. You guess see what I did there? I'm the invincible, undefeated champion. Mount Zion's my ancestors can't rely on. Star of David, nah, the thought of star dumb. Modern dumb and done crumbs left to the dumb thumb. To this play button, glutton of words, mutt 